Hello Virgos. This is your reading for June 15th through the 30th. This is for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started with messages for love for June 15th through the 30th for you guys here. Let's see what's going on around you guys currently. The Nine of Wands. This is feeling very guarded. Uh, Sagittarius energy here. Not only are you guarding yourself um, from outside forces that you feel like are really getting to you or are annoying to you, but you're also kind of blocking yourself off from receiving what it is that you deserve here. So I feel like, you know, not only are you blocking negative things, you're blocking all things. Okay, so be careful with that, guys. Okay, you've got to allow for um, some change and adjustment. I feel. Let's see what's okay. What's challenging you or crossing you? Let's see what this is. The Knight of Wands there. Again, Sagittarius energy. I feel like there's somebody very, very flaky that you are guarding yourself against. Um, strong Sagittarius in your reading, guys. Okay. Somebody that you feel like you cannot rely on. And I think that's what you're shielding yourself from. But I'm also getting that... Um, you know, whatever it is that we believe, perceive, we kind of project that out into um, the, the universe, okay? So if you're expecting horrible things, then guess what? That's what's coming your way. So I think a little more um, uh, positivity uh, would be helpful in your situation, okay? Let's see what the underlying issue is here. Oh wow, the tower. Um, Scorpio energy is here now. There's something that you feel like is just not working. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe your home life is unstable. There's something that this person is bringing to you that is making you feel like maybe we don't have anything. Maybe we don't have anything that is stable. Maybe we shouldn't be together. There's somebody here that's really thinking about um, ending a, a relationship here, leaving a home, I feel. Okay. Let's see. In the recent past, is a four of swords. You've been doing a lot of thinking um, about what is actually going on right now. I feel like you guys have definitely been hurt. Um, and I do feel like whatever decision that you make, it will not be a hasty decision. This is something that you've been thinking about for a while now. Okay. I think that you and this person, you do not communicate a lot if you do it all here. Whatever decision you make, you're coming to this on your own without talking to this person. It's like you're kind of keeping things to yourself, just kind of finding your spiritual balance, your spiritual base, and trusting yourself and God that whatever it is that you decide is going to be the best thing for you. Okay, that's Libra energy there. Crowning thoughts here. Virgo's crowning thoughts. Let's see what this is. Kind of spun around. Um, I think you're. I think you're very angry with this person. When I picked it up, it came in reverse, um, but still in the upright. I'm, I'm definitely getting that there is a lot that you hold against this person. Okay. Um, I feel like anything that they say or do, basically. It's not going to be good enough. It's not good enough because they always tend to say the wrong things or do the wrong things. And I'm, I'm kind of feeling like you guys are feeling like you're coming across like a bitch. Um, but the thing is, you guys have been hurt. And I think you've taken, you've taken something way too long is the thing. And I think you're, re you're ready to remove yourself from this. You're ready to cut the bullshit out. This is what you're thinking, okay? It's like you're tired of the bullshit. You're ready to cut them loose, let it go, okay? And you feel like that is what it would be in your best interest, 
here. Let's see. <clears throat> What's coming in for my Virgos? Five of Pentacles. This is leaving home. Hmm. I feel like you guys are getting ready to part ways with someone. And I'm getting that regardless of what kind of financial strain it may put you in, um, how the other person may feel, I feel like you guys are hurt too. But at this point, it's like, I don't know if I can go on in this situation. Okay. At one point in time, I felt like regardless of what we go through, that me and this person, we would be there together through thick and thin. But now I think right right now you guys are ready to like wing it on your own, I feel. Okay. I'm feeling like you're ready to wing it on your own or either there's somebody else I feel that um, you may be looking at or either you guys may be going to family if the home that you share with somebody or the space that you're sharing with somebody is owned by someone else I think somebody else is helping you in the near future taking you in whether it's a friend family or new love interest I do feel here with this Taurus energy let's see how you're viewing this situation how's Virgo viewing this situation currently the Knight of Swords hmm. I think you just want to speak your piece you want to say what you have to say and you want to keep it moving you just want to keep it moving you want to keep it real at this point no more bullshit see a lot of ear energy here you guys have been thinking about this a lot what is the influence for it Virgos oh, okay that card just jumped out and then we have a five of swords here oh wow five of swords there let's see what this is and the six of cups energy you don't even want to think about whatever you guys share before um because at one point in time you felt like this person was the one you felt like you and this person shared something much deeper than just affection than than a home um that you guys had the type of relationship that could you know endure right now i feel like you're not even trying to hear any of that if this person is 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 making some sort of plea to you guys like not to go um to fight for what you have i don't think you're really trying to hear that at this point i think right now you're really just trying to see how you're going to function outside of this connection you're trying to fight not to be um desolate not to be homeless you know you're not really trying to see like the emotional side of it right now you're trying to think logically about your situation and how you move on from um, this situation with this individual here it's what I'm saying hmm. I think this person's really kicking against um, you leaving I think they know that you guys are wanting out to Scorpio Aquarius energy hmm. let's see your hopes or fears it's a four of wands you just want a happy home you want stability um, you want to be happy basically you want to be with somebody that is you are attracted to that's attracted to you you want to be balanced you want to be stable um, you don't want any conflict okay I'm feeling that you guys are really wanting the one um, and you felt at one time that this person was the one is what I'm getting strongly right now there's a lot of conflict we have two fives here I definitely feel like there is there there's some separation on the horizon for you guys something that's really shocking something that happens abruptly for you and I don't want to like 
you know, I, I hate to be that one that delivers that message, but I see it coming. Um, for some of you, not all of you, because your situations are, you'll experience this differently. Okay. Let's see what the overall is for you guys here. The Queen of Cups. Why am I holding it over there? I don't know. Queen of Cups energy. Hmm. Queen of Cups is holding her hand over the cup, right? So I definitely see that um, there's love still here for sure. But somebody is withholding um, their affection. Both of you may be doing this um, because you guys are feeling the friction from each other. This could very well be a same sex relationship as well. But um, hmm, I feel like, you know, there's a situation where when you voice what it is, what your concerns are, what's bothering you, um, that makes the other person, you know, try to manipulate this situation, you know, and manipulate your emotions here. And vice versa. Okay, guys. So I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I see Cancer, uh, Scorpio. Scorpio energy is strong here. Um, Aries. I feel Taurus, Aquarius energy. We also have uh, Sagittarius energy here. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.